Namaste. I am Dr. Gauri Devi Mandadi. I am a senior consultant psychiatrist as well as director at Osho Hospital and I am also HOD of uh, Department of Child and Adolescent Department and the clinic at Access Psychology Center in Panjagutta. I have been trained uh, in medicine, that is my, I had my MBBS degree from SV Medical College Tirupati and subsequently I had my diploma in psychological medicine as well as MD psychiatry from the prestigious institute Nimhans Bangalore and I also have additional one year uh, training in child psychiatry senior resident in Nimhans Bangalore. Subsequently I have long 38 years of uh, experience uh, as a psychiatrist uh, both in adult as well as child psychiatry both in government as well as uh, private practice. I worked as uh, the psychiatrist and uh, I retired as uh, from the uh, Institute of Mental Health Hyderabad as superintendent and I also worked in Nilofo and uh, retired as head of the department of uh, psychiatry Usmania Medical College. After that I have been working in ad adult as well as child psychiatry at Osho Hospital. I started this clinic of uh, child psychiatry at Osho Hospital. Recently, we extended to the Access Psychology Child and Adolescent Guidance Clinic at Panjagutta. So, I have a, a great experience uh, in uh, treating the children with mental illnesses, uh, both medically as well as uh, by psychological counseling. And this vast experience, I have seen a number of children who present with uh, developmental delays. Uh, like uh, their milestones will be delayed and their speech will be delayed and the parents find it very difficult to teach them the toilet training and such children we call as the global developmental delay and I also have seen children who present with uh, only language problem their speech will be delayed many times parents think that uh, it will come and then they delay it so these children can have autistic disorder or they can have specific uh, speech problems so in addition there are a lot of children of late we are seeing more number of children who come with uh, lack of eye contact and they also present with uh, you know communication problem they don't uh, socialize with other children so these children we call as autism spectrum disorders so all these uh, neurodevelopmental disorders they should be identified early so that if they treat it they, de they almost develop into normal children and adolescents otherwise they uh, end up with lot of disability. Subsequently, if between uh, 5 and 10 years of age, lot of children become very adamant, they refuse to go to school and they, they have problems in learning. It could be basically because maybe they are slow learners or they are below average intelligence or they have specific learning disabilities. And in addition, these children also can develop behavioral problems like adamance, abstinacy, they don't listen to people, very aggressive, angry and they get into fights very easily, they refuse to go to school and uh, they also have developed a lot of bad habits of bullying other children. As against that, there are a number of children who become very anxious going to school and they don't uh, uh, really mix with other children, they have fear of the teachers, fear of school and fear of studies. These children can have anxiety disorders or related phobias, the phobia towards school or phobia towards animals, phobia of open spaces and they have anxiety leaving the home. So these children can have separate social anxiety or separation anxiety disorders, quite a lot of anxiety disorders. Number of children also go through if they have the family vulnerability, they go into depression, they cry and lack of interest in studies. So sometimes suddenly the children express suicidal ideas uh, around 10, 12 years uh, and maybe they have depression and also they have adjustment issues. Of late we have been seeing number of children especially adolescents uh, having adjustment problems because of their relationships, uh, exposure to a lot of media and exposure to you know various uh, movies and uh, various stories and things like that. These people precociously they get involved in relationships, uh, physical relationships or emotional relationships and once they break they go into depression and suicidal ideation. 
in addition the major problem which we are pre, uh, facing is children getting addicted to the gadgets like you no know, gadgets are easily available parents are giving them the cell phones the smartphones and so these children are getting to ad, uh, getting addicted to the gadgets and also getting addicted to social media and gaming so the parents are finding it very difficult to control them so with these the children having problems with the peer group and relationships and parents and teachers finally they end up having problems in studies they are failing or dropping out so these are the issues which we come across in child and adolescence subsequently these people also can have problems at workplace especially children with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or conduct disorders or any personality issues they find it difficult to adjust and they frequently change the jobs and afterwards they also have problems in marital relationships so the, uh, we have seen it was not very common in india uh, people getting married love affairs and married and getting easily divorced in no time and uh, subsequently going for schizophrenic breakdowns or uh, bipolar disorders or depression so these are all the issues which i have been covering uh, during my 38 years of experience and i am keeping touch with all these latest developments about child psychiatry as well as adult psychiatry because i teach dnb psychiatry students at osha hospital and i started post doctoral fellowship in child psychiatry with ntr university and subsequently with knr university so i keep touch with all the things so like uh, the society is going through lot of changes and parents find it very difficult to handle children and children also they are exposed to so many things which parents are not exposed to in such a case there is lot lack of understanding between the parents and teachers and children in such a case uh, they need to be counseling for parents the teachers as well as children so i request that we have a nice center at access psychology the child and adolescent guidance clinic wherein we have a multidisciplinary a uh, multi uh, disciplinary as well as multi system approach to all the children from childhood to adolescence so parents when they find the children having over activity or the defiance or having emotional problems or they have developmental problems they are not progressing in growth i think or the children with adolescent problems i think they need to access our access psychology center wherein as a group we uh, diagnose as the head of the department i guide my uh, psychiatrists and i have clinical psychologists who assess their intellectual functioning personality functioning their emotional and behavioral aspects and we have a wonderful team of uh, the special educators who guide them in uh, special education as well as in uh, remedial training we have speech the pathologist who deals with uh, the speech problems of uh, specific speech delays or uh, children with autism we have uh, a department of uh, of patient therapy he guides uh, parents with uh, uh, children who has got sensory deficits or over activity and he they need to be learning adaptive skills so on the whole our department teaches them about self skill self help skills and learning skills scholastic skills and emotional skills and life skills so please parents teachers avail the opportunity you have at our center in asha hospital as well as access psychology and help your children and adolescents it will be great pleasure helping you and uh, uh, guiding you thank you